I'm sipping, sipping, sipping in slippers. I'm feeling, I'm feeling so fine. There's nothing, no oh, nothing, oh, there's nothing better than drinking a fine glass of wine. So put on your slippers and pour me some wine. Red, white, or rose, they will have a good time. And maybe a Chianti or a nice Chardonnay. How about a Merlot or a Chicky Bonnier? Italian or French or Rioja from Spain? Six bottles later and it all tastes the same. And it might taste turkey and it can taste cherry. And it can sometimes taste like a strawberry. So cap break and cap full in a long taxi home. Wrong turn at Tuscany and ended up at Rome. So take up your slippers and put down the glass. Just drink from the bottle cause you're drunk off your butt. Sipping, sipping. And suppers, I'm feeling, I'm feeling so fine. There's nothing, ain't nothing, no, oh, there's nothing better than drinking a fine glass of wine. Welcome home, home alone winos. And actually, some of you might not be home alone because we can actually have, we can have people over now and um, our winos. And some of you might be out partying, and you can catch this later on IGTV or also on our YouTube channel. But we're live right now, Friday Night Live. Another pouring, and tonight we have a theme. We actually are going to taste estate wines. Uh, we have four fantastic BC wines to give an expression of that. We have Priest Creek. Priest Creek Family Estate Winery and their 2019 Dakota, Black Hills Estate Winery 2018 Rosé, 50th Parallel Estate uh, 2016 Pinot Noir, and a Cedar Creek Estate Winery 2016 Meritage. So if you don't know who we are, if you've never watched our show before, we are the Sipping and Slippers team. I am Original Sip. I'm the old sometimes wise, but I'm just old. Uh, and over here to my to my side, I have Simple Sip. He's a newbie to the wine industry, but he, he usually gets it right. We have Slam, Slam, Slamin' and Sip. Also name, a newbie. Like name says everything, though. <laughs> we, have to, we have to actually sometimes remind her to go by the nose before she goes by the palate. And then we have... Um, Snooty Sip over here, who used to be Simple Sip. Oh uh, no, used to be Snooty Sip. Snooty <laughs> he was never my name. He used to be <laughs> Snooty Sip. Well, I've okay. already had a glass of wine, so she's she's the wine connoisseur and she's the snob of the wines. So sometimes, sometimes. So right behind the OG. So so our theme tonight is estate wines, and so just to tell you what that is. An estate bottled wine is made entirely from grapes owned by the winery and the wine is made entirely on the winery's property. It doesn't ever leave the property during fermentation, aging or bottling. So you're getting the best of what they create from beginning to end. It is, it is a complete product from the winery. So I find that really exciting. You're, you're not getting like a piece of this, a piss. You're not getting a piece of this, a piece of that. You're getting. A, I hope you're not getting a piece of this, a piece of that. <laughs> you're getting, you're getting, you're getting a real creation from the sense of what the winemaker wants to, 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 to get out in the market, and I think that's a fantastic way to do it. So, so with no further ado, we're going to start with our first wine tasting. Now, this is a winery I've never heard of before. I think it's new. I think it just opened this year, and a little cat told me all about it. It's called Priest. Creek Family Estate Winery. It's based in Kelowna. You can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. You can't get the wine at the uh, at the wine stores or save on yet, but you can order it directly online from the winery. And their website is priestcreekwinery.com. You can become a member. They have amazing deals on right now. And when I read this at first, I thought it said six slippers for May, but it says six slippers for May. You can get six classic long slippers. And enjoy two each of their selected classic sippers uh, for $156. So that's a pretty you, good deal. That is a really good deal. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So one of the things I find really interesting, usually you get tasting notes on a wine and then you go, was I right? Was I wrong? But with this wine, they say it's a unique blend that even the winemaker won't share. So we're just going to guess and we could be right or wrong and it's anybody's guess. So uh, proprietary information. Yeah. Maybe, so, they, maybe they could let us know how, how close to the mark we yeah, get. Yeah. So, so one of the 
cool things about the name of this, it's the 2019 Dakota. So um, it is based on letters from their four children's names, Devin, Cody, Tara, and Tanner. So that's how they came up with Dakota. They just took a blend of their names. And um, when, they, when, they put, when they started this winery, Darren and Jane's wish was to raise their children on a vineyard, bringing them back to their farming roots. What a lovely dream. Yeah, I mean, really, like, we'd all like that. Yeah, it's a rough life. <laughs> who wouldn't want that? Like, who <laughs> wouldn't want to grow up on that's, a winery? That's right. How do I get adopted? That's right. So, uh, we can start with this on the nose. Again, it's a bubbly, so we're not going to swirl it. We're going to go with the nose and the palate. And we're going to just guess, because they're not going to tell us. It's a secret. It's so good, it's a secret. Sipping. I'm getting peachy right away. It's peachy, but I get almost like a sense of a Riesling or something. A Riesling or a Or we're trying to figure know. out which wine? Oh, I was going to say fruit. pear or something maybe from the smell. I, yeah. I didn't know we were guessing a grape. No, but I was just trying to, like, from a, yeah. I would say pear. Pear, pear is the smell. Pear, pear and maybe some citrus too. It's like maybe some, like a peach, like a citrus and kind maybe. Kind of a light like, citrus. Though. Yeah, Very and maybe, light. And maybe yeah. even a peach. Pear, peach, oh. and a citrus. Did we forget about... Oh, yeah, we need to our winery dog. That's Gewurztraminer Wiener Dog, and he will be in and out of the show all evening. Yeah. It's his choice when he decides he's, to join. He's the star of the show. We're just here to accommodate him. Still working him. on getting him some slippers. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We you haven't figured that the logistics out yet. Yeah. But he sometimes will like sniff out a great wine. He definitely mm -hmm. has a nose for the wine. All right, so, so are we sipping? Let's let's start sipping. Yeah. I, I don't I got my slippers. We're sipping in slippers. Mm. Very crisp oh, when wow. you taste it. It's lovely. Yeah? Crisp, yeah. I was gonna say like there's a really dryness to it, clean. but it's crisp. It's, and it, it is dry. Right yeah. Word. Yeah. Kind of like dry. Yeah. I, I. Well, it's acidic, well, but it, after I would say it's kind of bone dry. Yeah. yeah it's it seems, very dry. Seems to me. Again, oh we don't gosh, know. Gosh, that's good. Oh, really good. Yeah. It's very good. But I, I would, would guess some on the sweet side. I would no, say it's a little dry. dry. dry yeah. I'd like say it's a little like, off dry because there is a sweetness. Yeah, there. there's yeah. a yeah. fruitiness yeah. to it though. Yeah. That's this, the sweetness is the fruitiness, not necessarily like a sugar sweet. Yeah, no. I think it's off dry, but I don't know. Yeah, but I, I, I'm, 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 know. I'm gonna guess that it's like a riesling or something in there, just from the finish and what I get from the taste. Maybe a little touch of chardonnay. I don't get chardonnay. Chardonnay. Maybe. Mm, maybe. Pinot Manier? Pinot Manier. I don't know. My first instinct was Riesling. I don't know. I'm just guessing. For but. God's sakes, tell us. <laughs> Come on, Freeze Creek. We know you're out there. I know. Okay, well, all I know is it's delicious. I'm going to say there's some Pinot Manier in there. Even the color, because it's not like a clean, like white. It's a little, like yeah. a little bit of color to yeah, it. Yeah, there's a Pinot Manier, right? So there might be a bit, yes. so, but it's used in a lot of sparkling. Well, like, Pinot Manier and, um, and Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Are, are the grapes of a champagne. Yes. But Pinot so. Manier is a red grape that yes. you yeah. can get yeah. as a single variety yeah. as a red. I'm, so. I'm, sti I'm sticking with the, sh there's some it's Chardonnay very, in there. It's, it's very different for a sparkling, it's right? It's so it delicious tastes, though, It like, tastes more like apple once you yeah. taste it though, like yeah. a green yeah, apple, like that real crisp, like, yeah, like a green apple. apple. But that's, but that's apple. what I was going to say, like a Riesling, sometimes you get that, yeah, yeah, the green apple, apple, the green apple taste, yeah. Apple, peach. Yeah, that's why I went with Riesling, because you get that there. green apple taste from a really nice Riesling. Very refreshing. So they say... It, it's a beautiful summer. So, so a summer floral wine. as well? Yeah, yeah so floral. their summary is, do you, do you just love bubbles? Well, of course, yes. you just love bubbles. Yeah. It's a bright, bubbly, and wonderful effervescent, which it is, absolutely. Yeah. And what else did they say about it? Um, so uh, when when uh, the winery was uh, and the name, so the name uh, Priest Creek was chosen to pay tribute to the heritage heritage of the land farmed by the mission in the 1800s. So there is a history to the name. Hmm. There's a family. This is a family estate winery, uh, and and. We have Gewurz Wiener Wiener sniffing over here. Don't go pee in the rug. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, now he's making it into a nest. He's making it into a nice little bed. Wow. <laughs> so I again, I was again, you can only get this wine for now. I mean, it will get out there okay. everywhere. But for now, you can only get it at their website, PriestCreekWinery.com. 
So I, I definitely recommend Where checking it out. Where is okay? In Colonia. Like, yeah. In Colonia, but like Lake, like... Uh, it's, no, it's, it's, uh, I'm not sure. What's it's in, what's yeah. it okay. Well, it's near Mission Creek, so oh, okay. it be like in, in, like Mission in, Creek. Yeah. Mission Hill, you mean? No, no, no. Mission Creek in Colonia. So that would be like kind of in town where some of those might okay. are. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Yeah. Interesting. Awesome. You need to get to. Man, well, it? let's rate this one. Cause I, I'm, I'm I give it a two it. just because it's two and it's new and I. I'm gonna this one. Two and a toss. I'm, loving it. I'm gonna give it a, I'm a toss with my feet are stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, well, well, free, free speak uh, joined us and they said it's a wine maker secret. A few I guesses were close. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us who was close. Can you tell us which one of us was close? Come on, was it original? Was I close with the Riesling? Is it close? No, was it's it the Chardonnay. I know it's the Chardonnay. They're so, not going to tell us. But thank you for joining. Thank you. Hi. Wait, so your wine, your wine got eight slippers and, and three tosses. Are you going to toss yours, Snooty? Um, I'm going to give them one toss. So oh. two feet begins. Two feet and so I, I want to know. The not going to tell the so here, uh, Simple Sip is going to introduce the Black Hills Estate Winery, and this is a wine that's based in Oliver, and this is going to be their 2018 Rosé. So here, I'll give you some, uh, some, reading, some reading notes. I've never uh, tried this original, wine before, so... Original Sip, do you want to pour some of the Black Hills Rosé then? Allow me, ladies. Yeah. All oh, right. Fancy. He's tall. We're, fat, we're also fancy. Uh oh, I gotta slam this back. I gotta oh, slam this. Take over, take over here. I should always just start with slam, slam it, Seth, because she's always finished. Oh, yeah, you start pouring ours. We're ready. Yeah. <laughs> and when I, I bought this one at Save On, and up. they told me that it's the brand new and Save On. So I've never tried this wine before. I've never even seen this bottle. The first cleaner. Thank you you do big pours, simple sip. Massive you gotta stop that. <laughs> so, for anyone that uh, doesn't know about Black Hills, uh, interesting random fact: if you've watched 90210, Beverly Hills 90210, Jason Priestley was one of the original people that either invested and. I don't see him on the website anymore, but he was yeah, for so a long time. Left, but yeah. He was one Somebody of the original. Somebody DM him and get him on board here. Yeah. Let us yeah. know what's if going on. If he joins on. our show, then we've made it. Yeah. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> that was a great show. Another interesting fact: he's actually from Ladner in BC. That's right. Um, and I have some other intri interesting facts. We but also have secret, but we can't talk about that on the show. <laughs> Information about him. So, uh, so you have some notes there on the wine, the winery, their history. Yep. I I don't. Personally, have a lot of history at this winery. I I've believe been there. I've been there. No, yeah, um, yeah. But Black Hills Estate is based in Oliver. Um, they pride themselves on their outstanding ter terroir. 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 So terroir again <laughs> means they look at everything: the soil, the climate, yeah. the slant of where they grow the grapes, everything. It's a very French method. Of yeah, they look at the whole... And so they have some of the most favorable grape growing conditions in the country, resulting in exceptional Again, in terroir. all of BC, yeah. Uh, Oliver's a great place on for reds. Black Sage Road, which is 13K north of the Soyuz and 10K south of Oliver. So, I'm sorry, I'm kind of skimming through a little bit, bear with me. Where'd the bottle go? Simple sip so we can show our... Oh, I'm sorry. The bottle. I did put it back in the... Our nice holder. Display area. We did this ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so they say that because of the northern latitude, they have actually more sunlight hours than the Napa Valley, which is key in the growing months of June through August. That's why they have such nice reds. And it's it's a different a different area. Like normally, when you go to the Okanagan wines, you see Lakeview. This is more just valleys. It's and very like, arid. Yeah, it's yeah, almost desert-like yeah, up there, yeah, right? Yeah, it looks more like Italy almost. Yeah, yeah. So the vineyard's west-facing slope aspect and deep desert sand experiences exceptional diurnal temperature variation. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Providing daytime Skip. heat that fully ripens the grapes, followed by cool nights that allow uh, acid retention. So go to the vintage. Intensely flavorful grapes is the result. So go to the vintage 
the vintage notes on this particular wine, not the tasting okay, notes. Okay, so we got the 2018 rosé that we're trying out here. And this is again from Black, Black Hills, Hills in Oliver. Yeah. In Oliver. Right, Phil, sip, your ankles look fantastic today. Thank you. I got I a chance to say that earlier. <laughs> Her uncle game is Am I doing that bad of a less, job with less, my notes less, here? Less cheese you this week. You have to start talking about <laughs> it. Where's letting you get organized? I had oh, a lot okay. less cheese this week. I'm on a no <laughs> cheese, less cheese. <laughs> really tough. Okay, so the vintage notes for this particular wine that we're about to indulge in is says, a hot spring and warm and dry 2018 summer had the vineyards well advanced and in great condition leading into the fall. Following this, a very cool August and September, slow ripening to a crawl. We've actually experienced, we had similar notes on other wines that we've done in past yeah. weeks yeah. for the same year. Yeah. So it's up in Okanagan that, that was a particular year that seems to be very good for certain uh, wines. Uh, thankfully, dry conditions and a lack of frost events allowed the grapes to achieve ripe and pure fruit flavors. Well, that's a mouth twister. While still retaining fresh acidity and grapefruit aromas. So they say the red wine grapes were harvested much later than normal, but they still achieve great sugar to acid balance and terrific flavor and phenolic ripeness. Okay. What is phenolic again? I don't know. Did we, we didn't figure that out? No. Okay, homework for okay. next week. Next week. All right, so let's get All right. smelling. Let's get a sniff through So that we can get sipping on the nose. Slow down, slamming it. I'm going to say grapefruit. I'm gonna I, say some strawberry, maybe rhubarb or something, or something that's a little tarty. Yeah. Rhubarb is mine. I get to call rhubarb every time. Shocking that a Jason Priestley wine would be tart. <laughs> that a little tart, a little tart would be in there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I think I get some peach. Did someone else say? Did you say grapefruit? I think grapefruit. It's either grapefruit or rhubarb or light. something. So I find it very peach. light on the nose. It's very, it's yeah, it's very it's light, very, very light. Maybe yeah. a little floral, very subtle, well. yeah, very little floral. I think we got to go straight to the taste. It. All right, let's get tasted. Mmm, really nice. Very light, more like almost like, almost a, like French, a French rosé. Like so so rose. Even from the color too, it's very yeah, like, so very light. light. So yeah. Like, Again, look at the color. Zoom in on the color. It's very, very much like a light. French rosé. Kind of nice acidity. Yeah. Gets your your mouth going, but it doesn't kill you. It'd be very nice with like prawns or salad. Mm. It's or really prawns. nice, very much like Chicken. a ceviche, very much a French like French style rosé. I would say so. French rosés are lighter, very today. delicate. Yeah, yeah, they're usually yeah. delicate more. It does have it's a bold delicate delicate. finish though. It does have like a finish to it. It's very light at first, and then it has this finish. Let's and I'm going to finish you get that tartness going. too. It keeps going. You get the tartness going. that's either the grapefruit or rhubarb or something. That's All right, let's hear it. Maybe it's gooseberries. Finish. Last time we were duped by gooseberries. <laughs> Maybe it's gooseberries. I, I would say strawberry and peach, peach and, and, and grapefruit. And, and something tarty. <laughs> Lemon zest, perhaps. Why is that tarty? What, what's that? Like tart. You know, okay. like, like, like a little bit sour pie. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. That kind of makes your mouth feel tart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, um, mic drop for the OG. Uh, original sip, pretty much killed it. Is it rhubarb in uh, there? Pale copper in color. The 2018 rosé shows fresh watermelon, which none of us picked up on. No. But now I, I'm actually thinking. That like, maybe yep, it's the finish. That's no, I think it's the start. Try it again. I now we know watermelon. Everybody, take a little sip. Mm. Mm. Tell me that start isn't watermelon. Yeah, your brain, the once your brain, and the, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so the watermelon, which we all miss, but strawberry and peach aromas layered on top of the fruit aromas are subtle creamy and vanilla notes de yeah. developed during the wine's maturation on this on its yeast leaves. Which is very rare for a rosé. Yes. That's very rarely done. That's, that's usually for a Chardonnay. That's, that's or for a champagne, a sparkling, yeah. yeah, like a champagne. Uh, that's very rare very for a rosé. So very, that's a very sophisticated rosé. It does because there are so yeah. many layers to this. Yeah. And to yeah, continue, one. speaking of layers, mm -hmm. there's a hint of rhubarb there you on go. the palate. Okay. Oh, geez, is, is <laughs> and the savory paper? herbal note that adds another dimension. This medium-bodied rosé has a silky texture and crisp, juicy acidity. And peach flavors continue throughout the finish, which is true. Yeah. When we said yeah. like it doesn't. 
it, it just keeps There's going. There's like a lingering finish. It's a very lingering complex. finish is yes. what I was yeah. looking for, yeah. yeah. You keep tasting different things every time you yeah. drink it. Yeah. Which is what you want from a wine, actually. Which is why it would be so easy to drink a full bottle of that, because you're like, mm, what do I taste yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. Next glass. Well, what do yeah. I taste now? Okay. <laughs> they recommend that this wine be served chilled and in its youth, preferably. Yeah. Well, Four bottles later, yeah, it'll taste the same. <laughs> Let's rate this wine. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna give it a two. I'm gonna say if I had an extra foot, it's a three. So it's a three for me. Okay. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna stick with the two I, legs you had. I, had I started off strong, so I'm going two. Because two. I like I, with the one flipper. I'm gonna go with two flippers two because two I like flippers. the fact I like the fact that it had um, complexity, complexity, and was yep. and, and and like treated like a. Very differently for a rosé, treated like a like a champagne. All I, right, I so another eight for this winery, right? mm -hmm. and three, well, eight, eight and one. I gave it an extra foot. <laughs> you, an, you don't have one. Yeah. No, I you can't don't. make up feet for you. But that's just how much she likes it. Otherwise, I'll just uh, yeah. we can go back to the other night, and I'll just give it six feet. There you and go. Then, <laughs> Come back, home alone winos and the winos that have friends over. As you can tell, yeah. we've just we added, added, we added, added, added a new wino because you can we're have last two. You can have up to six people, so we're at five. Doctor so. Bonnie told us. So the, yeah, Doctor <laughs> so, Bonnie said it's so okay. So our new addition is Tasty Sip, and you can take that to mean whatever you want. But she's a chef, so that's part of it. Mm -hmm. So if you don't remember who we are, I'm Original Sip. We have Simple Sip of Cider. We have slamming it sip, name sip. Do a little feet wave, Tasty. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and then we have Snooty <laughs> Sip over there, who is going to introduce our next wine. Right. And so the theme for tonight's wines, just to recap, is estate wine. So an estate bottled wine is made from entirely from the grapes owned by the winery, and the wine is made on the wine's property. It does never leave the property during fermentation, aging, or bottling. And to recap what we've already tasted tonight. We did a Priest Creek Family Estate Winery 2019 Dakota bubbly wine that we all loved. Very, very new winery, very new wine, and they wouldn't so even tell good. us what it was. That got eight slippers up and some tosses. And then we tried the Black Hills Estate Winery 2018 Rosé. Again, eight slippers and many tosses. Loved it. So up next, uh, we're going to go into a Pinot Noir. So we have the 50th Parallel Estate 2016 Pinot Noir. So just a heads up, this is our most expensive wine on the list. And now drop it in. But it's, but it's well is, worth the price. There is Gabert to me a weird dog, our wine dog, and he, he smells something great. His nose yeah, is on it. Back in. He's, he's on the hot duty dog. He's, he's, he's like, he's like he's the tasty <laughs> sip is here. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, that's a good wine. So uh, without further ado, Snooty Sip is going to introduce this wine. So 50th Parallel is relatively new. I think they've been around for about 10 years now. We don't actually have the official. We've been there many times. We've been there many times. Uh, we actually know some of our favorite people from around here actually moved up to the Okanagan just to work at this winery. So that's how good it is. And one of our original team, uh, Oversip, used to work there. Yes. So uh, <laughs> we, we know this uh, winery uh, very well. Um, so we've been there, so it's right in uh, Lake Country, and it's all the way down at the very bottom, right by the lake. And the reason they chose that is because the wind from the lake and the timing of the sun and all these things, so they told us this in much better detail than I'm telling you right now. But that is the best climate to grow their Pinot Noir there. So I think they grow Pinot Noir, and one of their whites also is a state grown right there on the lake. And it's absolutely fantastic. You're about like a five minute walk from the winery right down onto the water. So it's absolutely beautiful. They have a new restaurant that's oh, fantastic. Oh, Amazing, yeah. And they're- Amazing. 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 <laughs> and their Pinot Noirs, they have a couple levels of their Pinot Noirs. So if you want to get one of their older vintages- And their reserve, yeah. Ridiculously good. If you're into Pinots, I would 100% go to 50th Parallel or sign up for their wine club because you get amazing deals and their Pinot, that's what they do. That's what they're known for. Yeah. I think their wine owner came, or their winemaker originally came from New Zealand, I believe is correct. I'm not sure. I think that's correct. And because uh, he was 
Pinot Noirs, and then a couple of the white. They're also uh, they're also building. Uh, they're adding on, and they're going to be building a hotel. a hotel where you can actually stay on the wine. Even better. Ooh. Yeah, and you're so close to the. They lake actually have a beautiful tasting room too. Yeah, and yes. like it's really very. Oh, we got we got a private tour. Kind of yeah. Feel to it. We got a little private tour. We got a private tour. Yeah. Gave yeah. some yeah. people there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll just get right into smelling this on the nose. So definitely some some dark cherry, which dark I, would cherry. Just, I would expect in a Pinot. Not, not a surprise. Yeah, and yeah, you can tell this has been out. You're getting layers of spice. Yeah, uh, just about to add there. It's yeah, and, and, it's wood. Yeah, like that yeah. Type of Smell, smell, yeah, you're getting the, the oakiness of this. Tasty uh, sip just comes in and crushes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can taste, I can taste it through my nose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your, no, your nose can tell you. That's how Simon usually drinks it. Yeah, my, my, my nose right, is right up her nose, like, has her throat, it's just yeah. right into the mouth. <laughs> Smell. Yeah, yeah, so, and and definitely some herbs and spices and, yeah. and some some layers of oak, whether it's vanilla or like a smokiness almost to almost it too. So good. Yeah, yeah. Would yeah. you consider like a cherry, like a dark fruit? So, yeah, dark yeah. Cherry. Dark, dark, these are yeah. dark. dark I'm gonna tell you guys what's on, the, what's on the nose, and then we'll go into sipping this. <laughs> so savory aromas of dried sage and rosemary. So. She gets like all the like wood smells like meals that right away. She just Tasty. shows up and whips. Yeah. <laughs> I said herbs. <laughs> yeah, but it, it gets better. Smoked meat, sandalwood. I said smoke. Yeah, she we said, said smoke. Yeah. Yeah. And a touch of pepper present themselves as Thank the wine develops in the glass. You said pepper. I started with spicy. The spice. <laughs> Not spicy, but a spice to it. Yeah. So tasty sip. Knows what she's tasting. Yeah. <laughs> Simple sip, nose pepper. <laughs> and she cannot have pepper. She can't smell pepper. No. <laughs> All right. So let's let's taste this. Oh, that's simple. Sorry. Mm. Original kind of pepper. So that is the color. That is beautiful, nice. First, I would light say it's really red. smooth tannins on this. Oh, uh, it's, it's such a it's, well it's really, it's really you know. smooth tannins. Like this is lovely. Like there's. There's, you yeah. can tell a lot of time and love went into this yeah. piano. Yeah, it's very smooth and silky. Yeah. 100% yeah. it's been yeah. oaked. Like, like, no, like, ooh. It's, and it's definitely been oaked. It's, mm. yeah. it's a nice, well, complex, refined, and beautiful you, pinot. You could definitely taste all, all everything that we were talking about. Like the rosemary, I can taste the, the rosemary, sage, the wood. A lot, when you hold this in your mouth, yeah. yeah. The minute you breathe a little yeah. bit of air as you're drinking it, yeah. and like, just, those and I love lights. rosemary. Okay, yeah. this steel is so tasty. I know. She <laughs> just got some here. Some roses. Just see you later. Why are you having her? Well, I'll be in the corner. Enjoy the other one. Okay, last time she's invited. Well, she's the chef, though, so she she understands. No, it's true. It's true. I'll join Slamin' it and just Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The truffle, no either. Integrated tannic structure gives this wine traction, but is not overbearing and presents a silky finish. That's yes. what I said, silky. silky I said silky. Finish, <laughs> silky. No one got white truffles. No, no, no. one got white no. truffles. No. no. So uh, let's rate 50th parallel and oh, get on to our next one. 100% it's a two slippers up. Is it two? If you don't Hold say on, this is a two slippers up, one it's toss. a toss. I'm going to say it's a two slipper it's toss. It's a two slipper toss. But I need simple sip to get my slippers again for me. Because I'm saying two. <laughs> Uh, no, really toss. Like no, I really toss. like it because it's... It, okay, toss. Keep <laughs> on toss. It's just not sweet enough for you. It's just not sweet enough for me. I'm going to pressure <laughs> into the toss. But I do, like, it's really, really nice. It's just not, for me, one of my favorites, but it's super nice. It's, I, you're getting the best of everything all at once. Oh, I see really good chocolate coming out. Yes. Is that mint chocolate? It, it is. is. Oh. <laughs> Statement chocolate? It's a state grown. <laughs> Shout out to Lynn Chocolate. Sponsorships <laughs> available. What do you think, Tasty? Are you a connoisseur of Lynn Chocolate? Who doesn't love Lynn Chocolate? Again, if you don't like Lynn Chocolate, there's something wrong with you. Lindor? Is that what it is? Lindor? Lind Lindor. Yeah. I don't know, it has both. It's Lint. There you go. <laughs> Lint. <laughs> So wow, is this is this pronounced on the nose? Mm. The chocolate or the oh, wine? I'm, to, I'm just smelling my wine. I have. You have to wine first. Wait, are, we ready, are we ready? Are we chocolate? It's right here. Oh, well, there it is. Oh. I was so busy. Everyone's a little blind after I was four so busy of wine smelling the wine though. So we're going to have Slam and Sip introduce this wine, and again, it is. The Cedar Creek Estate Winery 2016 Meritage, a blend of everything fantastic. Okay, so first I will talk about the winery, so Cedar Creek Estate Winery, and it says, The story of Cedar Creek begins with the vision of Senator Ross Fitzpatrick, a little bit Irish he sounds, I think. Born and, raised, uh, born and raised in the Okanagan, the future senator worked alongside his father during the 40s and 50s at McLean and Fitzpatrick, a fruit packing and shipping company. Did you get McLean wrong when you're Irish? Shouldn't it be McLean? McLean? You could say McLean or McLean. A change of potato. Potato, tomato. <laughs> I would say McLean for sure. What would you say, Snooty? McLean. 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 Yeah, Is that an American version? She's Irish though. Bruce Willis. I think McLean at the top. I think I know it. It's McLean. No. There you go. Bruce Annie Willis has. says McLean. He's John not McLean. Irish. It's McLean. That's, that's, that's the it. American version. People vote. Well, we is there that. any other version? Well, 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 this is the no. bunch of Canadians version of the Irish yes, side. Right. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Irish win. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, anywho. I will sign in with the Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> Though his edu education and career took him away from the valley for three decades, he returned in 1986 and purchased his first Okanagan Valley winery and vineyard on a site overlooking the Okanagan Lake. At the time, there wasn't much belief in the idea of no wine being in the valley. <laughs> Shh, guys, I'm talking here. Yeah, sorry. We're Let alone that wine could stand among the best in the world, which BC wines are. Shh, everybody. This is the most interesting part. He became a pioneer in the planting of his vinifera grape varieties to produce premium quality wine. Ooh. And so, do you want to does it say anything about the wine without tasting notes? It, well, let's it, sniff it. First. Let's see what we think. We don't, we don't want the tasting notes. So, Cedar Creek Winery is um, one of the OGs of the Okanagan. Yeah, and, right. we, and it's in Kelowna when you go up, like, Pendoji. Pen yeah, you exactly. go up and near Summerhill. Yeah, it's up that way with Summerhill and all of the wines on that when you go up Pendoji. So, it's on Lakeside Drive. Yes. Oh, yes. Sorry. It's located on Lakeshore Road. Lakeshore Road. Lakeshore Road. Lake Shore Road. Lake Shore Road. Road. Yes, Perfect. That's where it's located. There you go. Yeah. Cedar Creek has a beautiful, uh, they they actually, when they were redoing, even when they were doing the construction there, and they, they're up a hill for the parking. Beautiful they even, winery. They even have golf carts that would uh, chalet you up to the Oh, didn't we get golf carts? Yes, yes, we did. Yeah. It was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. They, they yeah. took care of you at that winery. Yeah. And their wine club is amazing. You McLean really will deals. look after you. Don't there worry. We go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it off. probably is McLean now. You probably like it is McLean. We're yeah. clean. <laughs> Come and join our wine That's race. right. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. McLean. <laughs> Mr. McLean. Yeah. And there's no fear of him drinking on the job. Came a pioneer. 
There you okay. go. Okay. So let's go with what's on the nose here. And again, reminder, this is a meritage. It's so a, blend, a, a blend. A blend of, of Cab Sav, Cab, Cab Franc, Franc, and a Merlot. So you're going to get and a little something else. Hint, no, hints of all of that. So you're so going to get only the three varietals. Yes. We will sure. get. We will get. To, should I do one to your bit one before we smell? But or after. It, no, only if. But if it's not tasting notes. If no, I don't. I, yeah. I'm going to okay. definitely say some pepper and spice. So it's, I was literally just some about dark to add. Chi, dark berries. Dark. Definitely. Yeah, you're you're going to get so dark berries, yeah. red berries. You're going to get dark and light. The, the first thing. That definitely I a dark fruit. I get yeah. this Eastern European soup and like. Borscht? Like, like borscht, yeah. So when I make borscht, the smell that I'm getting from this wine is almost that intense flavor from the borscht. So it's like the mix of pepper, salt, and some spices that just like literally come out from here. So I think like the taste. Only a only tasty sip would say that. I don't know. I'm not a pink soup fan, but <laughs> I like borscht. Borscht is oh, delicious. It's fantastic. Yeah. But you definitely you, you if you like take your time with you, with your nose. You really get you're like, getting you're getting everything. You really yeah, are. You, right? you get like the green peppers. You get like the like if you know what you want in black cherry, and and like a, yeah. a, a, a seven year old, a seven year old. The vanilla, the smell, the vanilla. Yeah. vanilla. Cab Frank. You're getting all of the mixed flavors straight away, so you can't really pinpoint a specific thing because it's very very intense. Though. Yeah. It's, it's all intense. right. So let's try it. Let's start sipping. Like we haven't already. Yeah, well, let's pretend like we're sipping originally now. Just starting now. So it doesn't taste the way. So it's it very smells. different from the last. No, one. it's much smoother yeah, than the smell. I think I think the Merlot is is influencing that. Probably yeah. I would have from because. But a Merlot balances so everything with a medium. Yes. A, me, a Merlot is a medium tannins, medium acidity. I'm gonna say that there must be more than just those three grapes in this. Am I wrong? I, no, I think it is. There is a bite of This wine. is kind of a guess. And do, do we want to hear what they say? Yes. yes. Yes, we want okay, to hear. Okay, so this is in the 2016 vintage, what we're drinking. The, cab, the Cabernet Franc brings a bright red fruit and leafy notes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Cabernet Sauvignon oh, adds dark fruit, earth, and structure. That's from the opening, yeah. Yeah. And the Merlot wraps everything up in a smooth, dark plum generosity. This is something though that this I would, is something we do. I would drink yeah, on yeah. its own, like just listening to some great music. And it's so I would drink well, that in the bath. Yeah. I drink fiftieth in the bathtub. Ooh, yes, um, with my chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drink this with my this, steak. This, yeah. this uh, tastes like a barbecue. Well, yeah. 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 as original sip said, you're getting the best out of all the three wines. Yeah. I like to pronounce yeah. wine yeah. though, just to sit and think about, yeah. like by myself with just a glass That's of wine. That's fiftieth for me though. Both of them, yeah, both of them. And, I, you, and you take your time with a red wine. Who you want to spend your time with, whether he's bold or quiet, is all up to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is like getting Who three men all in a bottle. <laughs> three men, three, 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 three in a bottle. Three men in a bottle of wine. There's something. There's something at the end of the bottle. Pour this out. <laughs> it could be girl genie. I'm personally a single varietal at a time, but if you want to go for American, that's your choice. <laughs> yeah, I just let's rate this wine. Yeah, now we've said I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say it's too slippery to dry, it, but it's not a toss for me. But it's two. I think it's a solid two. It's, it's a, a solid, solid, two. solid two. Yeah. So that's eight two. slippers. That's well, I said ten, ten because we have. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have two. Yeah, two more. Did two we rate the other one? Yes, we did. I because I only gave remember one. Did you? No, we didn't. Did we? The Pinot? I don't know because I don't remember giving it a ten. And there was. No. Yeah, there well, was, I, I still have my slippers on. It was. It was yeah. controversial. Yeah. I so we didn't rewind. Oh, I think we. Were you here for the 50th? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We did, we did so we rate. called it eight. I only okay. yeah, well, tossed one slipper. We're not very good at math, so we'll, we'll add this so into the uh, to the later. So let's yeah. go back in there and let's, rate it again. Let's rate 50th let's parallel. Let's rate 50th parallel. Uh, it's a two. How many, and oh, wait, how many and slippers did you toss? Yeah. Toss. Yeah. I, toss. I think I tossed two. one maybe or. It's two to toss for me. Just get the so audio. It's a, How it's many a, slippers? It's at least it's a. Uh, it's two and a toss. Ten slippers and a bunch of tosses. Ten slippers and a bunch of tosses. Ten feet and a bunch of tosses. So we got six six in in a toss. I mean six six feet with tossing and two without four without. Sorry, I just enjoyed the first no, one. No, I, I can't even add anymore. Right, okay, let's, let's, we'll figure it out later.